Anderson family. What's wrong with that dog, Mary? That isn't a dog, Oliver. It's Mr. Tuttle. We don't have to stand for noise like that. But, Oliver, darling, he's going to give me a special deal on voice. If he comes in this house with that moose call, I'll put a waste paper basket over his head. You'll do no such thing. I'll try. Uh Uh-oh, here we go again, folks. And now let's visit the Anderson family. Well, this whole thing started some time ago with the advent of one J.J. Tuttle, a man of many parts, who has moved into the Meister garage. Among Mr. Tuttle's many accomplishments is that of teacher of voice. Mary Anderson and Junior are at the present moment discussing a problem with Homer Meister while waiting for Oliver to arrive home for dinner. Oliver should be home any time now, Homer. Well, I'll wait around a few minutes. I thought maybe I could get him to help me move some stuff out to the garage. Gee, Mom, it's fixed up swell, just like a regular house. Mm, And it'll give you some income, too, Homer. Well, no, Mary, no, it won't. You see, uh, Marthy made the deal with this Tuttle feller, Mm -hmm. and she's going to give him free rent in exchange for singing lessons. You mean Mrs. Meister's going to learn to sing? Yep, yep, of course, I feel just like you do about it, Junior. Her voice ain't what it was when she was youngster. But I think it'll be a nice thing for her. She's always wanted to sing. Yep, yep. And I've been pretty lucky in in breaking up the idea until this hog caller stuck his snoot in here. Oh, here's Oliver now. Hurry, dear, you have company. Oh, how long are they going to (laughs) stay? Oh, don't pay any attention to Oliver, Homer. Oh, 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 me. No, I know him too well for that. Hi, Pop. Uh, Good evening, everybody. Oh. You eating with us, Homer? Well, now, uh... Mary, why did you tell Homer we had meat tonight? I didn't tell him. And how did he know it? Oh, now, wait a minute, Oliver. I don't want to stay to dinner. I I just wanted to know if you'd uh, help me a little bit after you eat. Help you do what? Oh, fix up the garage. Why? What have you done now? Oh, I ain't done nothing. Uh, Marthy and me are real happy, Hmm? except for this this, uh, singing teacher in the garage. What singing teacher? Mr. Tuttle, Pop. Him? Well, I thought he was a big game hunter. Well, sure, Pop, he was, but brothers, he been around. He knows everything. Well, all I know is that there ain't nothing I can do about it. No. Well, I'm sure Oliver will help you a bit after dinner, Homer. Oh, gee, that's right nice of you, Oliver. Well, I'll get on back. Uh, Tuttle's eating with us tonight, and, mm. and I want to get to the table first. Eh, <laughs> uh, I don't know how this is going to work out, so help me. Well, I'll be over later, Homer. Maybe I can think of something. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of cut deep, Oliver. Are you? Of course, I know there ain't nothing romantic about it, but but Marthy figures the, the uh, what she say that was the cult, cultural value or cultural something. Cultural value, yeah. Oh, cult- yeah, cultural value, that's it. <laughs> well, anyhow, uh, she figures it's worth something. Oh, well, it'll work out, Homer. Oh, I sure hope so. You know, it's always a comfort to talk to you, Oliver. Well, I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. Gee, Pop, Mr. Meister feels bad. Well, it's his own fault. Why doesn't he pay a dollar a lesson and get Martha out of the house for an afternoon? Oh, now what? Just relax, Senator. Yes? Oh, it's Mrs. Briggs. Mr. Tuttle's got gold cups for shooting and everything, Pop. Yes, I know, Mrs. Briggs. I'm thinking of taking some vocal lessons myself. Oh, yes. Mr. Tuttle's very well known. I wish someone would move into this neighborhood and teach cooking. Am I too young to take singing, Pop? Well, if it costs anything, you are. I'm glad you called, Mrs. Briggs. Gee, I didn't know Mom was going to take singing, Pop. Well, neither did I. (laughs) I don't think I'll make a career of it, Millicent. Of course not. Well, I have to hurry, too. Yes, I will. Bye. Hey, are you serious about this singing thing, Mary? I thought I'd try it. As long as Martha's going to take lessons, too. But Mama takes years of practice, so Mrs. T- Mr. Tuttle says. Yeah, you should have started earlier, Mary. How do you mean, Oliver? Oh, oh well, nothing, but, gee, you're almost reached your maturity there. You, well, you have a family. But and... I'm not dedicating my life to serving meals and doing the washing for a career, am I? Uh, Pop, I think you better drop it. Uh, yeah. You see anything wrong in my trying to better myself? Can't I have a little pleasure, too? Oh, of course, of course, of course. But how do you know this Tuttle knows anything about singing? I know he does. Here, 
Look at this little folder. Yeah, he gave me some to pass out at school, too, Pop. Five cents a piece. Five cents. Hmm. Cheap paper. J.J. <laughs> Tuttle, internationally known instructor of the greats. <laughs> How modest. But look at this paragraph, Pop. Now, don't point. I can read. Does housework interfere with your career? Learn to train for stage, screen, and radio in your spare time. Meet your opportunity when it arrives. From a neophyte to a neurotic in 12 lessons. Oh, isn't that awful? You're too cynical, Oliver. He teaches dramatics, too, Pop. Yeah, I know, I know. Now, don't read over my shoulder. I can read. Hmm. Train yourself under the guidance of this famous instructor in personality, posture, proper breathing, proper stance, dramatics, voice, dancing, and staircase buck and wing routines. Oh, now, wait, man. You'll hear no more all. about it. Dinner's ready, and probably after you eat, you'll change your mind. Gee, Mom's gonna feel bad, Pop, if she can't take lessons. It's not taking lessons, Junior. It's who she takes them from. What does this toddle know about music? What's that, Junior? That's Mr. Tuttle now. He always does that before he sings. Huh? huh? Now, you know why I don't want Mary to take this thing seriously? Would you like to hear six hours of that every day? Well, if it helped out any. It's no help to anyone. He'll hear you, Bob. I wish he would. Here's the door. Well. Go away, you bonnet. Great Scott, am I to be hounded by every beggar on the strand? I'm looking for Homer. Homer is not here. Hmm. Good heavens, can't a man have a moment to himself? Uh, Mr. Tuttle, it's Pop and me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yes, of course, Anderson. Yeah, Anderson. Well, well, step right in and accept me hospitality, such as it is, until I'm settled. Greetings, friend and neighbor. Thanks. Me, 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 me. I hope you'll excuse me, Mr. Anderson, but you see, I'm to sing at the beekeeper's convention this evening, and I must keep up me resonance. You see, Pop, he really knows his stuff. Uh, yeah. Mm, uh, how are you going to keep warm in here? There's no gas. Uh, gas? Oh, I was going to take that up with you, and uh, since I've gotten to know you, I see you're every bit the fine fellow everyone says you are. Show Pop that tiger skin, uh, quiet, Mr. Tuttle. Junior. Uh, you were saying, Oh, uh, saying, oh, yes, of course. I uh, realize that my services are far above the reach of the peasant trade, but I'm willing to accept Mrs. Anderson as a pupil in exchange for running a gas pipe from your hot water heater into my... Uh, me little abode. Well, I don't think we could do that. Well, very well, it was merely a suggestion. I hate to be mercenary and mention a fee, but uh, it would be the cheapest for Mrs. Anderson. Oh, it's Mr. Meister. Yep, yep, it's me. Hey, Tuttle, dinner's ready. Well, then we'd better run on, Junior. I wish you'd have Mrs. Meister serve dinner a little sooner, Homer. I'm used to dining at six. Hey. Have her remember that. Hey, you wait a minute, uh, wait yeah, a minute. I think we'd better go, Pop. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Forget it, Homer, forget it. And let's forget that gas pipe business, too, Tuttle. I would suggest that you think this over, my friend. It's an opportunity which comes only once in a lifetime. Yeah, I'll think it over, all right. What'd he mean, Pop? An opportunity. An opportunity for him to get free gas, I guess. Well, well let's go home. Would be nice, though, Pop, if Mom learned to sing good, and then she could sing at church and everything. Oh, there's nothing wrong with learning to sing. It's just the trouble it entails, is all. But look, Pop, isn't that Mr. Briggs turning in our house? Where? Oh, yeah. Hi, Briggsy, what's on your mind? It's very important that I speak to you, Anderson. Okay. Well, look, you better scoot on in. I'll stay out here with him. He'll never go if he gets into that big chair. Yeah. You sure have him figured out, Pop. And <laughs> hey, there's something I want to talk to you about when you come in. Okay. Well, Briggsy, lovely evening. I wish I could see the beauty in it. My whole world is crashing down around my ears, Anderson. It's probably just that derby hat's too big for you. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? It's... it's Millicent. Oh, your wife, huh? I've been very lenient with her for years, Anderson. But I must call a halt sometime. Well, how does that concern me? Well, indirectly, your wife has caused this last outbreak on her part. Mary? Well, how do you mean? When Martha told Millicent Barry was going to study voice, Millicent immediately decided that anything Barry could do, she could. What, Mary's only talking about it. Anderson, I've read my home with a firm hand, and I've always allowed Millicent certain privileges. Uh, well, now look, Briggs, you're going at it the wrong way. Do like I do. Just merely state that the singing is out and make it stick. Never waver around. Just tell her that? Of course. 
Anderson, you've solved my problem. Oh, hey, I see a new horizon. Oh, that's a sunset. You have given me the encouragement I need. <laughs> I see now where I've been weak. Ah, but now I'm strong. Ooh, like I'm bull. the boss. I'll put my foot down you, once and on for all. Uh, would you like to come with me to my house? Uh, you always seem to know just what to say when the going gets rough. Well, sure, I'll go over with you. <laughs> yes, I gotta see. Well, didn't Millicent say where she was going, Briggs? She did not. And I'm very angry, Anderson. She's been gone at least three hours. Oh, well, still early. Oh, this must be she. Oh, oh I've a do bad, Anderson. Be firm now. I shall. Where have you been, darling? I do not feel that I have to report to you like a servant. Hello, Anderson. Oh, hi, Millie. Just a moment, Millicent. I feel that you owe me an explanation. Ah, you're working, Shorty. I am? Uh, good. Uh, and another thing, Millicent. Oh, come, Free Baron. Don't be so provincial. Excuse me, Anderson, till I slip on something more comfortable. Sure, sure, sure. Well, you did all right up until she left. Should I follow her? Uh, well, just to the door is all. Maybe we should wait till she comes back out. Uh, well, look, now, I'll run on. You have everything under control here. Just carry on as you have. Thank you for those kind words, Anderson. You have no idea how you've helped me. Oh, it'll come out all right. Hey, good night, Millie. Oh, I'm so sorry you're leaving, Anderson. But tell Mary I'll join her in class tomorrow. Uh, you'll join Mary? That's right. Together we shall go forward with J.J. Cuttle. Hmm. Anderson... It's too late. Oh, no, it isn't. Mary will listen to me. Oh, good. And by heavens, Millicent shall listen to me. Me, 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 Oh, is that you, Oliver? Why, did you think it was Tuttle? You're acting like a clown, Oliver. I am, huh? Well, believe me, when I get through talking to that molting canary, I'll... Please, Oliver, he'll hear you. He'll hear me? I don't get it. What's that? Junior? Yes, dear. Huh? Junior's helping Mr. Tuttle with the pipes. Pipes? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with them? Oh, I think this has gone far enough. I'm going to speak to that Tuttle. Uh, that's the little fellow. Now lift that burner up just a trifle. Uh, it's heavy. Won't be but a moment now. Hey, hey, now wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, oh, just in time. Would uh, you mind grabbing that water heater like a nice fellow and lean it this way a bit? Yes, till I get this wrench on it. Here, man. take my hand, Pop. My hands are above Say, broken. wait a minute. Who told you you could connect this gas pipe? My dear fellow, it is all thoroughly explained in paragraph three in my contract huh? with Mrs. Anderson. Contract? Yes. Now be a good fellow and lift. <clears throat> Come on now. Don't stand around doing nothing. Huh? He's right, Pop. I saw the contract. <laughs> Now, back to the Anderson family. Well, Mary Anderson has a contract with Mr. J.J. Tuttle, in which she receives four singing lessons a month in exchange for allowing Tuttle to pipe gas from the Anderson's hot water heater to his garage home. The job of connecting the pipe has been accomplished, and Oliver is still trying to talk Tuttle out of the deal. They're in Tuttle's garage house. Someday you'll thank me for this, Anderson. Great Scott, do you resent your wife being famous? Well, no, but I... Do you resent her being the toast of a nation? Of with a royalty nation. groveling at her feet? Well, no, I don't resent it, of course. Her name I... on every tongue. The music world acclaiming the new artiste. Well, she wouldn't be that good. If she doesn't take lessons, she won't. Well, yes, that's right. Without lessons, you're depriving her of that opportunity. Well, I know, but I... Come now, Anderson, me boy. Be charitable. Help instead of hinder. <laughs> Aid instead of scoff. And someday, you and she, hand in hand, as the moon slowly rises over Manasura... Where's that? You will look deeply into her eyes and say, I wish old J.J. were here. Oh, <laughs> me. Look, now, that's fine. But right now, what I want to talk to you about is this. That double valve you put on that hot water heater sends all the hot water over here. I read you the clause whereby and to wit... I was to receive gas and hot water in exchange for my services. Yeah, but I have to take a bath. Well, we can work that out all right. From nine on, you may have the exclusive use after my bath. But the tank only holds one tub of water. 
Is it my fault you put in a small heater? Oh, Do I'm I out. have to suffer because you were so nearsighted? You couldn't see things like this developing. I'm caught with my hot water down. In other <laughs> words, yes. And now, by your leave, I am very busy. Okay. A contract is a contract, but, brother, I'm going to get hot water. Oh, come now, Anderson, me boy. We'll become very fast friends in the future. I doubt it. In fact, I promise to bring this uh, tiger skin over for Junior to look at. One of the uh, Sudan species which I shot while hunting in the jungles. You shot it, huh? Ah, uh, yes. How I remember that time. It was a moonlit night. Well, hardly. Yes, and my gun bearer stopped up short. He could sense something was wrong. Oh, so can I. But maybe Junior might enjoy it. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, uh, yes. Later, friend and neighbor. That phone here. That guy never saw a tiger outside of a zoo. He isn't fooling me with that moon over manor sewer. Armor! Huh? What? Hey, guess who it is. Don't make me tell you. Yeah, it's me, Homer. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's what? wrong? What's uh, wrong? Well, I don't know. You know, I'm kind of sorry I let Marthy go through with this thing. Yeah? Yeah, can't even read the paper. She's yodeling every minute. Carrying it too far, huh? Oh, uh, she sure is. I wish this viper would never darkened my garage. And to think we were so happy. Oh, well, there's a way out. And I'll find it somewhere. Yeah, I sure hope so. You know, he's been down to the cafe, too. He's, yes? Yeah, he's going to give singing lessons to Antoinette Murphy, the little waitress down there. Oh, I see? Yeah. That's why you're upset, Antoinette. Oh, no, sir, <laughs> Oliver, no, sir. Now, there ain't no truth in it at all. We're, we're just friends. Mm -hmm. Just friends, huh? Yep, yep. You know, she was just attracted to me is all. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm just that way with women, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't been encouraging her. Homer, so, Homer. So, so help me. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Free rent from Martha, free gas and water from us, and now free meals at the Gem Cafe. Yeah, ah, yeah, we got to ah, find ah. some way to stop this sheep in snake's clothing, Oliver. Ah, don't worry. It's serious with me, too, Homer. I'll think of something. Maybe we can get him to move over to Briggs's garage. Briggs? Holy mackerel, no. He'd be mad or no wet hen. Well, I'd rather have Briggs mad at me than Tuttle. Well, you work it out some way. Ah, uh, my heart's broke. Uh, again, huh? Yeah, I guess I'll go down to the gym cafe and sit around a while. <laughs> oh, me. Antoinette understands my moods. <laughs> Me, 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 me. Uh, pardon me, me Mary, me, me, just me, me, a me, moment. Me, me. Now, how long does this session last? I have just 20 minutes yet. 20 Now, minutes. run on and find something to do. Me, uh, me, 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 me. Where's Junior? In his room, I guess. You guess? Me? Has this thing got you so upset you don't even know where your son is? He's in his room. Oh, oh, in his room. Pop, sit down. Yeah, thanks. Pretty grim, huh, Pop? What's grim? Well, you know, this sudden interest in singing in the neighborhood. Yeah, even your mother is sold on it. Well, it'll wear off, Pop. Things like that don't last. They don't? Gee, no. If it hadn't been for this Tuttle character. Well, you, you shouldn't look at it that way, Pop. Huh? Well, what I mean is, you're a swell guy, and it's not like you to... To submerge yourself in depressing thoughts which might injure the feelings or cause a human being any anguish. Where did you read that? In a book. Oh. But you see, Pop, you're such a great character. Things like this singing business are just straws to be brushed aside. Oh, brushed aside. How do you mean? Well, look at it this way. Uh, don't sit on my model plane, Pop. Oh, 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 excuse me. Okay. You see, you and Mom have been so ideally suited, so understanding for years, that even I feel the serenity and oh, understanding Junior. which shines through like a sunbeam through the fog. Look, you better bury that book, Junior. It's getting you. No, no, seriously, Pop. Well, there's good in everyone if you look for it. Oh, yeah, I guess there is. Yeah, and the bigger the man, the more good he finds. Well, you're partly right. And you could be so big, so far above this petty argument with Mr. Tuttle. You mean I should let it go? Why, of course, Pop. He'll realize from your attitude that he's met his mental equal. Uh, uh, wait a minute, young man. I don't know more than he does? No, <laughs> no, no. Look, Pop, it's the sugar that gets the flies, not the vinegar. Uh, that was in the book, too. Uh. Well, try the sugar way for a while. It'll work out. Ah. I never thought of that. Sure. 
Now go out and join Mother, Pop. Take an interest in her singing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you're right. Sure, that's the stuff, Pop. Go on, I'm proud of you. <coughs> Careful with that slug in there, Junior. You made me proud of you, Pop. <clears throat> well, you can go. Gee, thanks. What am I thanking him for? Now come sit down, dear. I'm all through with my vocalizing. It'll be nice and quiet. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that? Well, just Junior, Oliver. He's so anxious to develop his voice. Now, hold on here. If Tuttle gets hot water and gas for your lessons, what did you give away now? Nothing. Nothing at all, darling. He teaches Junior free in exchange for Junior passing out his folders at school. I won't have it. Please. I... Let's just calm down right this minute. He's a menace. Please, please, he'll hear you, Oliver. Who? Mr. Tuttle. He's coming over this evening. Over here? Oh. Now, please treat Mr. Tuttle with respect, dear. Oh, He's so kind to us. I hope you'll be nice to him. Me? Oh, sure. I love everybody, I guess. Oh, come in, Mr. Tuttle. Thank you, my dear. My, my, how charming you look. Oh, uh, Anderson's in here. Ah, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Anderson, good evening to you, sir. Well, how do you do? Oh, won't you sit down, Tuttle? Uh, uh, sit down? Why, oh, yes, yes, thank you. Here, have a cigar. Mmm, a cigar. Thank uh, you. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Take this one. There you are. Uh, take Mr. Tuttle's package, Oliver. Uh, tish oh, touch. Sure. No, 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 no. It's just a little tiger skin I promised the boy I'd bring over. Oh. Yes, it's uh, one I shot while eating lunch on one of my dangerous treks into the jungle. Oh, mm. Junior will be very interested, I'm sure. Mm. Kind of dusty, isn't it? I mean, the stripes run the wrong way. <laughs> uh, me trying to improve on nature, eh? Yeah. Uh, uh, the wrong way? That's Why, right. I hadn't noticed it. Just thought I'd mention it as all. I uh, thought maybe Junior <laughs> could uh, take this uh, priceless skin to school and uh, show it to all the pupils, and uh, while they were discussing it, he could uh, mention that I'm running a special juvenile class for a dollar a head. Hmm? Uh, I mean, per child. Well, no, he's a bit young for that. Mm hmm. Is uh, this a moth hole? Moth hole? Where? Mm, right there. Oh, oh, there. Oh, no, no, that. That's where I shot him. Oh. Yes, yes, we always leave the hole, That's sort of uh, uh, tradition with we jungle hunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's, what's this tag on? Uh, tag? Yeah, uh, wait a minute, Tuttle. Look, you didn't shoot this tiger. Well, uh, I, I don't understand. Do you mean to contradict the great J.J. Tuttle? Contradict? Uh, look here, look at this tag. Uh, synthetic animal skins. Cohen, Larson, and O'Brien. Brooklyn, New York. Oh, uh, there must be must be a mistake. I, oh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, well, possibly... Uh, Look, uh, now, this whole thing is phony, Tuttle. But you're a pretty nice guy. I called Tetrazori, the vocal coach, who knows everybody, and he says you're phony. Wait, Henderson, I'll sue. I don't think so. Now, look, before they come back, I'll make a deal with you. Either you live in that garage and go to work and forget this singing racket and get me back my hot water... Or I'll tell this all over the neighborhood. Well, now, what is it? Anderson, I hardly know what to say. I, I'm sorry. I'm entirely to blame. You see, I wanted easy money and prestige. Mm -hmm. And you almost got jail. Now, I know there's some good in you, like Junior says. So, you go get yourself a job and be a regular guy. And you'll be surprised how good it makes you feel. Shh, now it's up to you, Tuttle. Junior will be right here. Oh, why, Mr. Tuttle, are you ill? Yes, Mrs. Anderson. Unfortunately, it's a reoccurrence of uh, jungle fever, which settles in the vocal cords. Oh, mm. oh, that's terrible. Well, can I get you oh, something? Oh, no, 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 my dear, no, thank you. Uh, only fresh air and a long rest will bring me around. Well, oh, now, that's too bad. Uh, I'll help you over to your home, oh, J.J. Oh, thank you. dear, I'm so sorry. And it's so sudden. Tish, tish, it, it is the fortunes of life, my dear. We who pay the piper must play the fiddle. <laughs> or vice versa. Uh, allow me to lean on you. Oh, oh, oh sure, sure. Come yes. on. I, I shall yeah. be forced to cancel my future lessons, Mrs. Anderson. Oh. But perhaps at a later date. Oh, of course, when you're better. Uh, yes, 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 when I'm better. Good night. Is he going to be all right, Oliver? Oh, sure, don't worry. I'm just sorry you couldn't continue on with your singing. You know, Oliver, 
I think you're just grand about this whole thing. Well, as long as Briggs' wife and Marthy have to give it up, too, you won't mind. I'd planned on going through with my singing, but... Yeah, uh, so did the rest of the women. Poor Mr. Tuttle. How hurt he must be. Well, I can see where he would be. Uh, now, about this hot water and gas. You'll not touch these things. I made a contract, and I'll stick to but it. But he broke the contract. It makes no difference. Poor fellow over there with no gas, no hot water. Uh, me, too. I don't have any... But can't you see, Oliver? It makes a fool of me. Why? Because it does. You're just happy that I can't go on. I'm not, either. You didn't think I'd make good as a singer. Why, Mary... It's awful hard to concentrate, Pop, with all the noise. Uh, yeah, Mary, he can't concentrate. I don't care. I'm hurt, Oliver. I planned on... I'm hurt, too. I can't even take a bath yet. Uh-oh. Here we go again, folks. The Anderson Family is written by Howard Swart, directed by Herb Litton, and features Dick Lane as Oliver, Louise Arthur as Mary, Walter Tetley as Junior, and Herbert Rollinson as Homer. Mr. Briggs is played by George Peroni, and Mrs. Briggs by Jenny Johnson. J.J. Tuttle is played by Doug Young. Music by Gordon Kibbe, sound effects by Ray Erlenborn, and your announcer is Ken Peters. The Anderson Family is a Hollywood Broadcasters production, transcribed from Hollywood. Hollywood.